what is up crackhead nation it is your girl princess galaxy and oh my gosh okay i'm so excited to talk about this like it's literally my favorite part of the entire process of like being a k-pop fan like buying the tickets is probably the worst part because you're like traumatized so today i'm going to be giving you guys the dl the dl the how old am i today i'm going to give you guys the tldr on what to actually bring to a k-pop concert all the essentials all the things that you are going to actually need no side stuff no fluff no just bring i don't know like just random stuff so i've been to almost 30 concerts my whole life so and half of those have been k-pop concerts and there have been so many times where I've seen people just bring like a huge clear plastic bag and then by the end of the concert they use nothing. So today, like I said, I'm going to be telling you guys everything that I bring to a K-pop concert or any concert that is extremely essential. You are not going to want to miss like anything in here. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure to obviously like the video so that other army and other um, k-pop fans can see it and subscribe for more k-pop crackhead content centered around concerts and vlogs and now let's get into it i'm actually really excited this can be like a checklist for you actually should i make a checklist Ooh, if you guys want a checklist leave a comment and like let me know and follow me on instagram and twitter because i'll be putting it there so let's just get it so the first thing you're going to need and this is more important besides the ticket this is the most important thing that's why i put it number one is you are going to need a charged phone and storage on your phone before you leave the concert your phone should be at 100 percent. period no excuses okay you're gonna be spending at least at least two and a half to three hours at a huge place where over 50,000 people are gonna be okay it's really important that you have these two things the battery and the storage no matter what you have to do you need to charge your phone beforehand so if you're like on the bus like you need to find a charger you need to make these sacrifices because i will not play if i see anybody at the concert and and, and the concert about to start and i see a glowing 30 percent on their phone you're gonna be catching these hands and by catching these hands i mean this is going to be in my hands this power bank <laughs> which is one of the things that you should be bringing to the concert but i will talk about that in a few minutes it also helps to do certain things with your battery i wrote a few down that i usually use which is basically um disable like all the basic stuff like disable bluetooth like all day or like when the concert starts turn on airplane mode when the concert starts close open apps like that are old apps that like you're not using so that it won't use up any more battery and basically enable like your version of like power saving mode on your phone i know apple calls it something different but i have an android so like android gang <laughs> hashtag twitter for android all the useless stuff clear off your phone and if you have stuff that, that's like on your phone but you want as much storage as humanly possible i would recommend downloading the google photos app and saving everything there you can basically get around 15 gigabytes for absolutely free like all of my concert footage from like every concert I've been to the past, I would say like three or four years is on Google Photos and I have no problem pulling it up, seeing it in HD, it's amazing. So Google Photos, I'm gonna put that down in the description, so. All right, next is the ticket. So obviously this is very important because you at the concert. So this is exactly what I do to make sure I don't forget my ticket ever. I always get a digital copy of my ticket, why? because princess galaxy is very prone to forgetting things okay especially if they tiny and they pieces of paper what i do is whenever i get a ticket i always get like an e-ticket so that i can pull it up either in the Ticketmaster app or whatever app you get it from StubHub, vivid seats or they'll send you an email with like probably the, the ticket in it like as a pdf or like a file of some sort but what I do is that I get it from the Ticketmaster app and then I save it onto Google Pay, which is basically like Apple Pay, but it's like a wallet system. So it's like you can store different cards in it and you can also store tickets for different events, which I would recommend. Hashtag non-spawn, but it's what I use every time. I really recommend using Google Pay or like Google Wallet or like Apple Pay or like whatever you have for your phone, like that type of wallet system, because think about it. When you're at the concert, it's going to take a long time for your Ticketmaster at the load because like 50,000 people around you are trying to use their phone and they have data on and people are using the Wi-Fi at the stadium. So it's really important that you have your stuff already downloaded onto your phone so that you won't have any connection problems when you get to the venue. So 
So the next is a light stick. So if you already have a light stick for your favorite group, yay, good for you. But if you don't, you can either buy online or pay for one at the concert. What I usually do is even though the ones online are like probably a little cheaper, I always have like the subconscious fear that I'm going to end up buying a fake um, army bomb or like a fake um, light stick for any group that I have. So I always buy it like either from their official site or I buy it at the concert. Most of the time I buy it at the concert, but like the army bomb online last year, I believe was $50 and at the venue it was $55. So it is a little more expensive but I don't mind paying like the extra five or $10 for like peace of mind. That's just me. I know a lot of people cannot afford that. It's very common for people to spend a lot of money on K-pop, but not everyone has that luxury. So if you're able to buy a ticket and like you're able to get there, like that's enough. Like BTS will still like love you. Like you're not any less of a fan of anyone else. So I just wanted to say that, but I usually buy a lot of my official merch off of Macari or eBay. So yeah. All right, the next one is money, dinero. What's it in Korean? Won. <laughs> I don't think that's money. I think that's just their currency. <laughs> ah! So basically you're gonna be using money for merch, light stick, food, and transportation. So they usually have an option where you can either pay cash or pay card. So this is what I do. So I would recommend bringing cash and a credit card slash debit card. Make sure before you go to the concert, I know it sounds pretty obvious, but it really depends. Make sure you check how much money you have to spend on your credit card, like available credit. Like I said, please do not go into the negatives for BTS or any K-pop group because you're better than that. Also, I usually bring equal amount of cash as I do to money on my debit card because sometimes they accept cash and sometimes like they don't. So I really like having um, certain amounts just to make sure. But here's the basic budget that I use for most concerts that I go to. Like I said, this is just my personal budget and it really does depend on the group. Like for Blackpink, I spent a lot of money. I think I spent like almost maybe 200 for merch, but like BTS, I didn't even buy merch for them because I was like, I spent so much money already. Like I really, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, <laughs> okay. So here's my basic budget that I use. So I usually spend 30 to $40 on food and drink, usually for like the whole day. Merch around 40 to 200, like I said, um, for Blackpink, I kind of low-key went crazy. <laughs> Let's kill this wallet. And finally, the light stick, which depending on what group you're seeing can range from, I wrote 40 to 55, um, but usually if you're buying it there at the venue, it, depending on if it's like a, maybe from a newer group or like a smaller group, it might be like 35. Most of the time, um, they really rack up the prices from online. So your ticket could be from 40 to $55. I've never seen a light stick more than $55. The Army Bomb is the most expensive light stick I've probably ever seen. So thanks, Big Hit. The next thing that you're going to want to bring on your journey into the venue is your ID. Now, depending on what kind of ticket you have, you will most likely need your ID, but only if they say that you need it. Otherwise, for normal getting into the venue, like basic stuff, like if you don't have sound check or if you didn't have it, if you don't get a ticket from will call, then you're most likely not gonna need your ID. So whenever I go out of town, I personally have my ID like on me whenever I go to events or venues because I don't know what's going to happen. You know, like if there's like an emergency or if someone like needs to know like my identification, like if I get hurt or something or if like I'm knocked out, like at least it'll be I'll have that thing on me, you know what I mean? Like just for a safety measure. So the sixth thing that you're probably going to need or that I would definitely recommend as an essential most likely is a power bank or something to charge your phone with. I would, you would be surprised how many people I've seen at K-pop concerts literally like their phone dies. And I'm just like, the trauma, the trauma. Like I see someone's phone like literally dying. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I wish I could do something, but I got an Android. I don't have an iPhone. I really recommend getting like a power bank or like a cord. You can just get a cheap one off of TJ Maxx or Amazon or 
you know, Walmart. You don't have to go crazy with this. All power banks basically do the same thing. They charge your phone. <laughs> so I've actually had really good experiences with like cheap ones. So I'm going to be linking all this stuff in the description also. So, and with the Amazon link so that you guys can get them as well. So the next one is, you already know, every K-pop fan say it with me, a clear stadium size bag that fits the capacity for the stadium, not capacity, that fits the size requirements for your stadium. So this will really all depend on your stadium, but most of the stadiums that BTS are going to, if not all of them, follow, um, I was going to say Netflix. I watch way too much Big Mouth. Okay. Most of of the venues are NFL venues. They all usually have a similar bag measurement thing. So you can go online and look for your venue, um, what size bags are allowed that are clear and everything like that. They're really easy to find and I'll leave a link below for them on Amazon. Personally, I have not brought a bag to like the last six concerts I've been to. I don't need a bag anymore. And actually, here's a fun tip. So this isn't really a new trend, but it is a really important tip for you guys. So if you wanna get into the stadium or the venue faster, sometimes the people who are checking the tickets will actually create lines for people who don't have bags. So if you, if you basically like put everything in your pocket and like you just have your light stick, and like you have your power bank like in your pocket and like everything in your pocket you can get in before like a bunch of other people if you're not a fan of lines or not a fan of like carrying around a bag all day like a clear bag where people can like see all your secrets me you can just basically put everything in your pocket and think about it if you just have your phone your ticket which is most likely on your phone your light stick which is in your hand your money and your id which are in your front pockets front pockets only and you have your power bank and your charging cord in the back that's all your pockets. I mean, these aren't really heavy items. So just a tip, I don't bring bags at K-pop concerts or any concerts anymore. Um, bags are overrated and you can jump around and have more fun without them. So, but if you wanna bring a bag, if you wanna buy a bag, um, just to like, you know, have everything dangling on you, that's totally fine, but that's just my personal tip. And so next we got fun stuff. Woo, fun shit, I mean, fun stuff. Woo, don't demonetize me. <laughs> In order for my hands to be free and to like look cute and have something on me, have that thing on me, I always make these cute little headbands with my bias for each group that I go to. And if you want to see a video on how to like make these, I make these for almost every K-pop concert. These were for Soldier Field last year. And if you want to see a video on how I made them, um, it will be right here. <laughs> so check that out if you want some like, you know, just easy, fun little DIY product to be with your friend, you know what I'm saying? Like... Have some fun, you know, put your bae on your on your forehead, you know, like Kim Tae Young, like Daddy, like come through. I'm getting thirsty, but you know what I'm saying. We parch. So the next thing that you're going to want to have with you is a full stomach and a hydrated throat. Uh, before concerts, I usually do this thing where it's like I'm so anxious all day that I don't eat. But then when the concert starts, I either um, almost faint or I'm just like really hungry by like the end of it. <laughs> so I really recommend eating before the concert. Like even if you're not like that hungry, like I do not eat that much, but it's like now, like I know that I'm going to be burning a lot of energy. That person that can like do a lot of energetic things and like not like faint or something, that's fine. But at least like be hydrated and like drink water. Like you don't have to be like extreme about it. Like maybe just buy a bottle of water at the stadium. They can be kind of expensive, like three to five dollars depending on like, like if you like, depending on your stadium. But I do think it's really worth it. Honestly, if I'm gonna buy one thing from the venue, it will be water because you can't bring anything in that's like liquid or anything, so. And the last thing, which is probably the most important, besides having your phone and your ticket is knowing how you're going to get to and from the concert and i will most likely be making a video on this on how to survive a k-pop concert if you guys want that um <laughs> let me know i guess <laughs> i really recommend having a game plan before you like go to the venue even if you just come up with something like the day of like after the concert is going to be very insane like it's going to be 50,000 people trying to leave like a football field basically. So you really want to know what you're doing. <laughs> so there's three main ways you can get to and from a concert. And the first is through Rideshare, which is like Lyft or Uber basically. I like Lyft more because Lyft has always been more reliable for me. Literally every time I try to get an Uber, 
um, they either didn't show up or they just didn't show up. So the rideshare drop-offs for Lyft and Uber are usually very close in like a walking distance to the stadium or like in a little parking lot attached. So you can most likely find this information on the website of your stadium. Like for Soldier Field, they have it all laid out like for rideshare and things like that. Like for Cubs, Cubs, <laughs> really girl, that's baseball, for Bears games in Chicago. And they usually have all that information because, you know, they're stadiums. So yeah, they do this all the time with sports. <laughs> I think that's really important because a lot of people literally just leave the concert and they're like trying to like get a lift while like probably half the half the capacity of the whole entire stadium is trying to get a lift too you know what i mean just be smart with it and know where the drop off and pickup locations are because a lot of the times around the stadium they will literally close off like blocks and blocks and blocks of roads because a lot of these stadiums are like in big cities like downtown and stuff so they'll close a lot of it off so that you know people can leave the concert without getting ran over so it's really important to know that next option to leave the concert is to walk so obviously this is a luxury for some of us because a lot of people are coming out of town but some of you guys might have hotels that are near the concert and the next is public transit so if you guys use public transit it might be more efficient and a more like financially savvy way to get around especially if you live in the city it might be easier um, obviously, you know, public transit, like you have to like wait and things like that, but that is another option for you as well. So the public transit walk and rideshare information for like drop off and pickup are usually all available on the stadium's official website so that, you know, it's just there for your convenience. And you can also just Google maps it too. So if you guys are actually interested in using Lyft and you've never downloaded the app or actually used Lyft before, you can actually use my code. This is not a sponsorship, but it's kind of like a refer a friend program they have on there. And I really want to help you guys out. So if you guys sign, <laughs> ouch, <laughs> if you guys sign up with my code, um, which is going to be linked in the description and probably on the screen, you can get $5 off your ride. And it will honestly really help you a lot because the average amount that I paid for each lift that I got was around five to seven dollars. So you might get like a cheap lift for like a dollar or sometimes I paid like a dollar or like a few cent when I first started using Lyft because of the promo code. So if you guys are interested in that, it's not like a requirement. You don't have to do it. But if you guys are interested in getting like five dollars off like a ride, you can look at my link in the description. You can sign up through that. So that'd be dope. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know um, what you thought. If you guys have any questions, please tweet me at galaxy underscore right on Twitter. I am no longer accepting DMs from people. Just tweet me. Here's my favorite comment from last week. And here's my favorite meme of the week. And I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> thank you for 1K. Actually, thank you for 2K because I checked earlier. You guys are very nice. I love helping people.